Yo, what is up people? This is JRTV Gen and we're here today to do another episode of Let's Play series. And today I'm doing Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition. I'm going to show you my battle log that I had earlier today. Um, yeah, some of you posted like in my mail saying, oh why don't you post up losses and such. Well, um, sometimes I don't get any, sometimes I do. And the time when I recorded I didn't have any but this time I've got some and I can show you my scrubby Akuma that I've been trying to work on but I think I'm just gonna drop him because I'm just better off with like Ken or something so yeah let's get to it let's see I had the same guy in my lobby like four times so let's show you some salty matches I guess Same again, I'm gonna be doing my thought processes because um, you guys say you appreciate that more than a sort of funny commentary. So, um, here I'm just trying to keep a solid ground, but clearly I'm just getting dicked on like mad. You can see how bad my Akuma is because I'm not using like Vortex or anything, I'm not going in for it. I'm generally like a very patient player, you see. And I find that Oni has a strange hitbox, or is that just me? Because I can't cross him up. And the guy just read me like a book, basically. Absolutely destroyed me. And in this this round, I'm just thinking to myself that I just need to be more careful. I need to sort of keep him on the ground. But I still like jump like a maniac anyway. <laughs> I'm just trying to go for unteckable knockdowns and stuff really. And I didn't really punish him there. I should have laid down a full on combo on him just to finish him off. Yeah, and I failed a bit of vortex there and I had to result into a grab. You guys are going to be surprised in this round because um, it just looks like I'm a complete scrub and that's true <laughs> but I just don't know the Oni matchup and I wasn't expecting him to just do these like shenanigans on me and he absolutely like bombed on me to the max I just felt so ashamed I'm sorry guys <laughs> but yeah he joins me again in my next because I, I tend to host matches you see and I decide to pick Ken, my main character, but when I'm using the arcade stick that is. <clears throat> you may have noticed I've started losing points and stuff. I've, uh, I've recently been playing as Dudley and Guile, you see, and it hasn't been going too well. I mean, I've been winning some and I've been losing some. So I've sort of lost about 1,000 player points. And here I'm just trying to play solid because he's just going in for it. He's getting so hungry right now. And my Shoryuken didn't come out there, which was really disappointing. So I wanted to fad C into Ultra even though it was gonna waste my meter light, but I just wanted to kill him off with something flashing. And there I did a uh, like Tatsu to the other side and do a show you can like I did in my previous video against Abel. So if you want an explanation it's on the previous video. And there I just tried laying into him but his crouching jabs beat my crouching shots for some reason. And he tried getting me in that crappy shenanigan again. And here I'm just giving him a taste of his own medicine really. And I thought, I, I don't want to like keep him alive, so I'll just kill him off for an ultra, just to guarantee a death. Like, and I sort of got my revenge there. I was thinking to myself, if I don't carry on hosting the match, I mean, he's just going to think I'm a coward, so... He came to run it back with me again, but I still wanted to brush up on my Akuma, you see. Your destiny will be determined here. 
and you know my Akuma is absolutely scrubtastic. I might work on him later. But I seem to be doing a really poor job. This particular match, I thought it was very boring to watch, but since it's a loss, I might as well post it anyway. I'm going from a battle log in order, you see, so I'm not going to cheat you guys here. Yeah, and I'm just I'm sort of breaking down here. I'm just being such a scrub, and I don't really know what to do here. I just tried putting on pressure in the corner, but it doesn't really work anyway. And it, it got really laggy as well, which is why when he jumps in the air, I can't like anti-air him or anything. I press a button and it doesn't come out. This is the only match I had with him that was pretty damn laggy. And again with that crappy hitbox or whatever it is, it might just be my like positioning, spacing in fact. I was going to go for a Shoryuken there to anti-air him, but it was a bit too late. And he just punishes me, I guess. I noticed that a lot of like Akumas just teleport and wake up like mash it out. But I think I might have to do that because when I'm trying to do just the normal input for a teleport, it doesn't come out, so I'm just going to mash it next time. And I didn't punish him there. I should have absolutely like rinsed him with a uh, heavy punch into like Tatsu Shoryuken, but I didn't do that. I'm such a freak. <laughs> yep, and I finished him off. But there's still one round to go, that's what I was thinking like, oh shit, I thought that was the end of the match. <laughs> I should have known he'd go for a wake up show you can. And I didn't go for a Tatsu for some reason. I don't know what went on in my brain. And I should have gone for a Vortex there. And I should have predicted that, but I was just a. Uh, I was sort of breaking down in the pressure. And I should have done a Vortex here, but I didn't. I was going for a. Neutral jump, me uh, neutral jump medium punch. I always do that with like Ken and Ryu, but it doesn't work for Akuma because he just sticks his arm out, so it doesn't work. That's why I need to stick with my own characters, I guess. And here I was thinking like, he's joined me again. Um, why don't I play my one of my vanilla mains? Because I used to main Bison in vanilla as well as Gen. But I sort of dropped him when Super came out. So I just thought, yeah, I'll try and get used to it. And you can see like how rusty my Bison is right now. I mean, I'm just getting used to it. As you see the replays later on after this, you get to see my Bison like get up to scratch. But right now I'm just showing you my scrubtasticness. <clears throat> And if you notice, I haven't really abused the standing heavy kick like I should, but I don't know what, what went on. I don't know why my scissors didn't come out there. And again, it like lagged as soon as I pressed my jumping medium kick. It's like got some kind of lag switch going on or something. Generally, my connection is so much better with like Germans and the French and stuff. I mean, it's better than the UK connections actually, and I'm in the UK for Pete's sake. So, this is a German connection, I think. So. Yeah, and I'm just doing random moves really because I haven't played Bison in ages. I was just like, okay, what the hell am I going to do? Just do a bit of cross-ups, try and get a uh, scissors in or something. And I would have thought he'd smash a Shoryuken, which he did the second time. 
I did a wake up ultra because why not? I mean, he was gonna chip me away anyway with that EX overhead. Not overhead. Yeah, like whatever, the judo chop. Just pull that on ultra because it's anti air anyway. And in this round, I just let loose really. It's when I started to play bison properly again. Like, brushed up my skills within the first two rounds, I guess. And now, I'm ready, going in for it. Apart from my scissors didn't come out there. <laughs> I'm just being very patient right now. Turtle style bison, that's what. Yeah, I thought that was a nice read, but it just didn't work. So unlucky to him. <laughs> And I took that. And then, um, yeah, I took a break. I came back and uh, nobody joined me for like absolutely ages. So I just had to go into like custom matches and stuff. 